Right, this is the video to show you the machine moving and tell you a little bit more about the spec. Like I said, it's a 600 by 400 cut area, 600 in the X, 400 in the Y, which is a, is a decent for a size for a machine, this footprint. Uh, Z axis, you've got about 200 of movement, although you've got about 250 in clearance. I'm going to start with spindle first though, like I said in the other video, it's a little bit of a special, 40,000 RPM with an ER20 collet system, you won't find many, if any, like this, we had it specially made with the ER20 collet system, you can find 40,000 RPM spindles if you look hard enough, but there'll be ER11, ER16 at best, you won't find many with ER20. Uh, it's got ceramic bearings in it, it's got the, the air to cool the bearings and blow any debris out of it. It's very quiet, so I'm going to start it up and show you now. Well that's ramping its way up to 10,000 RPM, which is there now. The, the ramp speed we've got it set it's quite low at the minute. Uh, as you can tell, it's very quiet, we're, we're not talking loud here at all there's no trickery going on on the sound it's straight from the the phone we're going to ramp up the speed and go now go to 10 uh, 20 sorry open tens right and that's gone up to 20 if we go to 40 straight up to 40 that's it 40 the, the sound is slightly louder but hardly anything obviously when it's cutting you get more noise you get the cutting noise but the spindle to start was very quiet like i said in the previous video the cabinet's not really designed for soundproofing it's keep the mess but it does offer a little a little bit of soundproofing compared to a, an open style machine Right, the rest of the spec of the machine, I'll go over quickly. It's got closed loop steppers on all the axis, four and a half newton meter motors, NEMA 23s. The gantry, or the Z axis lifting up and down, it's got twin motors on it, it's got a ball screw at each side. As you see, there's a slot at each side where the brackets go through that mount onto it to lift it up and down. It's ball screws on all axis and linear rails, 20 millimeter limit linear rails on all axis. It's a fast little thing. It's program. We've got it set to 15 meters a minute. We'll actually do more. We've got 15 meters a minute on the X and the Y, and it will easily do 20. The Z axis we've got it at about eight, but. We deliberately kept that down because it's it's a little bit scary. You've got all the usual home limits, the home in and limits. You've got limit switches, home switches. It it homes to the back, uh, back left corner. We'll show you it moving now. We, we've got a bit of random code in it. We're just going to set it off. See, that's 15 metres a minute. You just pause it, Jared. Right. I'll just show you the table. It's 25 millimetre aluminium tooling plate ground cast tooling plate and it's got a grid of 25 mil center holes that are tapped the customer requested this uh, he makes molds and he has various different fixtures that he fastens so that's why he requested this setup uh, it's very strong super super strong it, it's also set up in such a way where all the chips can 
Send it to back, please. To back, please. You can just see there's an hole down there. All these panels are they're all angled. I don't know if the video shows it, but that one is angled and it falls onto a lower tray, which is also angled that all lead down to that hole. So you can put a tub underneath and all of the uh, chips and everything will just flow down to the tub. It's also got an air blast system on it and a fog buster, so it, it can all get blasted away. So yeah, that's the machine. Right, so that's the machine. Uh, it is a prototype, and we uh, we are planning on making more of them. Although we will change various bits on it. It. It's a bit of an unknown at the minute to how we're going to approach it. There's things on it I will change, which we always do on any machine we build. We'll find better ways to do things that can either make the machine better or make our life easier when we build them. But one of the things we are looking at doing, we're going to make an automatic tool changing version of it. Now obviously the machine will be bigger because we've got to fit it in there, but it should be a lovely thing when it's done. I'm also going to change the cabinet of it this cabinet's okay, but I think we can do a different style. Uh, there's various things about it I will change, but the base of the machine, how, it, how, it, how it's built and how it's designed, we like that setup. We, we know it. We know it works. Very strong, very rigid. And electric, electrically, the electronics, the rock solid. We've, we've proven that for years. We use the same controllers and motors and that we use on it. All the other machines so we know those are top top class so that's it that's what we're doing well maybe maybe post a video of the next one if we do one cheers thank you